Uh, now what I'd like to do is maybe move my units into my borders a little bit. And just, uh, set up some defenses. I think having some defenses is gonna be a really smart thing to do. You are not worthy to bask in our presence. Your power is as fragile as your army is weak. Why is everyone trying to have a go right now? Seriously, that was your traitor Pamela overheard that Scythia has denounced the evil deeds of Egypt. It seems that Scythia just wants to go to war with everybody. Which I don't know if I'm okay with. Well, in a sense, I'm okay with it because I don't have to worry about them necessarily just focusing on me. But at the same time, I also have to worry about them potentially just focusing on me because I'm the player. And we have barbarians right there. My work in the water, water mill has boosted my knowledge of construction. Good. Uh, can you guys kill those so my trade route isn't plundered? There we go. Now let's choose a new production. I'm thinking either heavy chariot or another archer. Hard hitting ancient era heavy cavalry unit. One bonus movement if it begins a turn of flat tile with no woods, rainforest, or hills. I mean, it's tempting. Spearmen are effective against mounted uh, mounted units. Let's let's go for a heavy chariot. And if we keep trying to set up this defensive line, I don't. I'm not. I'm not necessarily trying to you know lock myself in and play uh, a kind of turtle game here, which is very very slow. But I want to make sure that I'm secure in my capital. No, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. Yeah, I want to make sure my capital is secure and then I'll expand out. Once this, uh, once this trade caravan is done, we'll get a settler. We'll move over to the west and we'll go from there. Now, we have, of course, got these guys here who I can uh, kill. There we go. In fact, what I might very well do... Oh, there's more of them there. Can you hit them? No. Can you hit them? No. Okay, unit needs orders. Who needs orders? You need orders. Just fortify. And let's go to the next turn. Because what I'm thinking is... This barbarian camp must still be up. Now, you've found a new religion. Of course you have. You really are pushing ahead, aren't you? You really, really are. Now, you can kill those guys. Or not. That's fine, too. So, movement cost one. Let's go there. And then, can you shoot those guys? No. Well, that's annoying. Let's have you go in there. Hopefully, these barbarians won't completely wreck my archers. They might try, but uh, I don't imagine they'll succeed. Oh, they're going to try. And they got killed. Okay. We have more policies available. We have quite a few policies available. I still can't change up my government. But I can look at a new civic, and uh, state workforce is the only one we have, so that's fine. In terms of a new production, I would like a settler. And in terms of an envoy, I reckon. I mean, let's... Let's see. So that's more production in the capital when producing units. That's more science in my capital, though. Which is useful. And I kind of do want science. That's more culture. Give me that science. Because science is uh, science is kind of cool. So let's go ahead and send this uh, chariot over this way. Because I want to deal with these... I want to deal with these barbarians. I think I'll also send my archers over that way as well. And then you guys can go back there. And fortify. Then if we head over this way slowly, I need to kind of... You're my scout. Oh, hello. Have you scouted out almost all of this? Almost, yeah. Yeah, she has progressed to the medieval era. Good lord. Let's head down this way and see what's up. Uh, you guys can perhaps deal with those barbarians? Sort of. I wonder if you guys could finish them. Let's have a look. Not quite, but we're going to try. It doesn't help that they're spearmen, but... I 
think we'll manage. Let's add to the next turn. We do just... We need to get rid of this camp. That's the thing. That camp needs to go. Because it keeps spawning barbarians. The barbarians keep causing problems. It can't stay. So take those guys out. And uh, we'll push forward with the chariot. And the camp isn't actually protected. Which is pretty big news. So once that's gone, we're in a situation where we can very well go ahead and uh, settle up this way. And we have a settler coming in two turns, which is great news. So uh, if we can take this, that'd be nice. I think I'll just settle right on the coast there. Uh, as for this guy, maybe we just pull my archer back. I don't know if we need it. I don't know if I can actually take this with a chariot, though. Oh, I can. Well, that was silly. Uh, okay, let's put the chariot there, and let's put the archer there. Okay, so we've taken that. The settler is going to be out any second. What I'll do is I'll link the warrior to the settler unit and head them out there together so that the settlers can't just be taken. What is going on here? Oh, that's the... <laughs> I was very curious about that. That's uh, the overlay for the settler. Uh, I'd like to link you guys together. So, this is a recommended location here. This is also a recommended location. Basically, anywhere that's red is recommended. This area over here isn't really recommended either. Uh, I can sort of see why, but at the same time, I kind of want it. No, there's, very, there's pretty decent production in this space. Like, if I was to sort of settle there, I've got production, production, food, all that stuff. It is just a bit close to this person. And I kind of... Actually, up here is not a bad spot either. If I was... To, I mean, it's recommending I settle there. Which I might do, because it does have incense nearby. A lot more incense as well. It's also got a bit of rice there. Um, you know what? We'll settle there. We will settle right there. Not the most recommended spot, but it'll do. Let's see. We are doing pretty well for gold. Let's see if we can get the commercial hub. Which I will throw there. So that's going to take a while to build, but I can use the commercial hub to get more from my trade routes. So that seems like a pretty good idea. Uh, this heavy chariot, I want you to still go to, uh, like, there. And this archer can go there. Alright, that's pretty good, though. That's, that's good. I'm looking forward to this. Don't you dare! Don't you... Don't do it. Do not settle there. Don't you dare. I will declare war on you so quickly if you take that spot. And I know you're going to. I'm not okay with this. I'm not okay with this. But I'm going to rise above it. I'm going to get iron working. I'm going to get a swordsman. You still have warriors. What are you going to do? You know what? I know what I'm going to do. Oh, right there, right there. Come on! We are gonna... They are gonna take it. They are gonna take it, aren't they? They're gonna move. They're gonna settle. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh, settler. Oh, settler. What are we gonna do? Can I get you to exit your formation? Why can't you settle? Go there. Settle. <laughs> oh, we got Philadelphia. We got Philly. And I'm okay with it. Because we almost didn't. But that has helped me. That has helped me quite nicely. So Philly. Philly, 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 Philly. Let's... Why did I say that? Let's get you working on the monument. And when Washington's done with the commercial hub, we'll have Washington build your people settle too close. Uh, I will look elsewhere in the future. I'm sorry. Is someone mad? Is someone mad? No. Oh, that's adorable. Let's, uh, let's have these warriors settle down there. Let's have uh, the chariot maybe... Oh, we'll have the chariot settle over there. Why are there barbarians? Oh, there's a barbarian camp right there. 
Okay. Well, that's kind of annoying, but uh, nothing we can't deal with. Let's head to uh, the next turn, I suppose. Where are you? Where are you going? Like, I want to know what the plan is with these settlers. I'm very curious. Let's go ahead and wreck those guys a little bit further. And head to the next turn, I suppose. Like, you can't settle in there. You are going to have to find somewhere completely different. What are they? Oh, it's missionaries. Okay. I can deal with missionaries. They are not... They're, these guys, these barbarians are just getting killed. Like, that's all they're doing. They just apparently do not care. Okay. I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, let's have a look. Who needs orders? You need orders. Uh, go kill their scout. Oh, you can't. Okay. Next turn, then. We'll see what's up. We'll see what happens. We are not that far from ironworking. You guys can be leveled up, I suppose. More ranged strength versus land units. It seems like a pretty good thing to me. Uh, we'll have you fortify until healed, and we'll go to the next turn. Four turns until we get the commercial hub. My trader overheard that Scythia has used a warrior to clear a barbarian outpost. Hopefully that one. That's that's definitely a hope that it would be this one. Uh, you, I assume, killed that scout? No, you didn't. Can you kill it? I don't think you're gonna. Okay. Can you maybe just, like, go that way? Yeah, you sort of can. Who is this? Who is, who is here? I'm very curious as to who this actually happens to be. Because they're in a pretty good... They're in a pretty good spot there with like this, uh, this cliff face. Oh. Who is this? Oh, it's you! Okay, can I send you a delegation? Maybe some other time. I mean, l at least you're nicer about it. You let me down gently, I guess. Can I send you a delegation? I mean, you've denounced me. So I can't actually send you a delegation. I can... Yeah, I don't... Oh, I don't want to... I don't want to go to war. That is not what I want to do. So you don't like me. You're unfriendly. And you... I don't know. Can we be friends? No. All right. That's fair enough. Uh, as for you, I'm going to have you just fortify for the time being. And we'll get to the next turn. I am quite excited. <laughs> Are you seriously running those settlers back up here? I am quite excited to, uh, well, for one, get you back on the good old exploration grind there. I also want to have a look at the continent and see. Yeah, that continent is substantial. The continent of Mu is down there as well. But the purple continent, Avalonia, pretty big. Pretty big. That's going to be... A lot of fun to deal with. That is going to be a lot of fun to deal with. What I will say, though, like I was saying, I'm quite excited to get the commercial hub completed so I can get some workers, so I can get Philadelphia running a bit more efficiently. A we have a state workforce if we want one. In terms of production, now that the commercial hub is done, I can get a market, which will give me... Plus three gold, a citizen slot, and a great merchant point per turn. That said, I kind of want a builder. It'll cost me 230 to buy one. It's only three turns. Let's, let's build a builder. In terms of a new civic, we're going to go for this one because it lets me get a new type of government. We've also increased our trade route capacity, which is uh, more trade routes than before, obviously. So that's going to be useful as well. It means I can go ahead and... You have so few troops. Aren't you scared for your life? Um, I'm not really, mate. I'm, I'm honestly not. Because, uh... I have enough to sort of defend at the moment. I'm really not that concerned. I mean, I don't, I don't even know if he has that many troops, to be honest. I wouldn't know, but... I can't say I'm concerned. I can honestly say that I'm uh, actually quite relaxed, to be honest, buddy. Thank you for your concern, though. Uh, it is uh, it is hugely appreciated. 
but it is misplaced. Your concern is misplaced. All right, so we should have the builder done this turn. We also have research completed, which is quite nice. But this builder, I would like you to, uh, I guess, head over this way and start working on little upgrades to the production in that area. In terms of research here, I'm still not interested in sailing. I just don't need it. Machinery, on the other hand, I mean, I can get a lumber mill. I can get the crossbowman. It's going to take 14 turns, but that's fine. I kind of want it. Astrology, I mean, I kind of probably want the holy site can be useful, but I mean, Stonehenge can kind of be useful as well. A shrine, eh, I don't really care. I... I kind of want to go down a path that's going to get me, you know, units and all that stuff. Stuff that's going to help me fight and survive. I know it sounds really silly and it's probably not the ideal strategy, but I still kind of want it. Now, let's look at a pantheon. So, we have these guys who... There's currently two religions. Hinduism and uh, that one. My pantheon is going to be... I kind of, I'm almost tempted to say, like, Goddess of Festivals to get more food. But at the same time, something like the God of War. Bonus faith equal to 50% of the strength of each enemy unit killed. Oh, that's within, that's, that's within eight tiles of a holy site, never mind. City growth rate is 10% higher. That's a simple one. That's a simple one that could be useful. Very useful. So I'm going to go with that. Fertility rights. It's simple. But it'll do. Find this pantheon. I'm okay with this. I'm I'm kind of okay with that. It's going to make cities grow that little bit quicker. Now, I do think maybe I want another builder. But I also kind of think maybe I want the market to get a bit more gold. So, we could do that. We do, we do have the encampment as well, which is a district for military facilities, which is a thing I probably want. Uh, the aqueduct is a district that provides the city with a source of fresh water from a river lake, oasis, or mountain. Cities that do not yet have existing fresh water will receive up to six housing. Cities that already have existing fresh, fresh water will get plus two housing. Must be built adjacent to the city center. I don't think I need it slash want it. Not yet, anyway. The encampment, on the other hand... I mean, military facilities are important. So, let's, let's do it. Let's, uh, let's build an encampment. We'll get that done. My worker can head over. I mean, the worker could have built a farm there, actually. Kind of sad, really. But we'll head here as soon as we get the chance, and we'll start doing some improvements for, uh, building some improvements for Philadelphia. I'm very tempted to buy a couple of tiles here and there. Just to, uh, you know, further expand my borders and slightly lock these guys in. But I'll not annoy them too much just yet. I don't necessarily think it would be worth it. Now, this is going to give me a little bit of gold, which I will absolutely take. So there we go. Got, got a little plantation there. We can head over here and build a farm. We can get another plantation there, more farms and all that stuff. So this should be good. This should be absolutely no problem. Lots of production to be had. I just need to get the tiles. And I know I can get the tiles. So let's send you there. Let's get ourselves a farm, which will get us more food. Which is also a useful thing. And these guys have uh, one build left in them, I think. Yeah, just the one. Philadelphia does not have enough food. Don't worry. Philadelphia, fear not. I've got you covered. You're going to have food. Don't you worry. Once this farm's built, well, this plantation anyway, it's going to be perfect. Now, let's send an envoy. So, this is more production when doing wonders, buildings, and districts. This is units. I mean, uh, I think I'll go for the... I'll go for more culture in the capital, because that's going to be useful to have. A little bit more expansion and all that stuff. At least I think culture is expansion. I've been saying this whole time, culture is expansion. But, uh... I might be wrong. I might very well be wrong. Turns until growth. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's nothing to do with it, but... 
I'm pretty sure it is. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I mean, again, I'm just playing this for the fun of it. So we shall see. Now that that's built, I am going to need to get another builder. Which is going to be five turns away. I would... I am, I am tempted to get another city going, though. I'm, tempt, I'm still tempted to expand over here a little bit. Just because I think that could be... I feel like that could be a good thing to do. Just to lock in this north coast. Because if I go ahead and I buy, like, this tile on this tile, and then if I have a city sort of here and block this off, this entire north coast is locked. Obviously, they can send ships around, but if I can get the entire north coast, that's going to be so good for me. But I don't know that, uh... I don't know that that's necessarily something I'm going to be doing. Not for a while, anyway. Not until... At least not until Philadelphia is actually up and running efficiently. Because if both of my cities are up and running efficiently, if both of them have trade routes and all that stuff, then uh, that's good. Now, Scythia has expanded, adding a new settlement. We also have the new civic, which means I can change my government if I want to. Recorded history is probably a good thing. Uh, let's see. So... An oligarchy will give me, let's see, we get all of those. I kind of, I really want stuff like this. I want to be able to do like, not necessarily fascism, but you know, things where I can, probably communism, honestly, just because I can uh, get a, you know, a nice mix of military and uh, economic cards. Democracy is one military card, which is what we're on currently. Uh, an, an autocracy... Let's have a look here. So, an oligarchy will give me all land melee units plus four combat strength, which is useful. We also get 20% uh, bonus for combat... Uh, experience for combat units. Again, kind of useful. Um, we have capital receives a boost to... All, plus one boost to all yields and a boost to wonder production. And then all cities with a district receive plus one... Uh, amenities or amenities. Uh, I don't really think I want that. I'm feeling like an oligarchy, honestly. Or an, auto an, aut an autocracy would work because it gives me boosts to my military. It, however, doesn't give me this uh, green one, which I can't remember what exactly that is. The green one is the uh, the first envoy you send to each city state counts as two two influences influence points per turn toward earning city state envoy. So that kind of cuts it in half. Do I really want to deal with diplomacy at the moment? That's the thing. I don't know that I need to worry about diplomacy right now. Because diplomacy... I, I'm not really necessarily being diplomatic. I mean, I'm sending envoys. I'm sending trading. But I'm, all, I'm doing it all to benefit me. So diplomacy, I don't really think I care about. I do care, however, about these military policies. Because production towards the melee units is quite useful. I think I'm still in the classical era, so that particular one is still useful until we're out of the classical era. After which, unit maintenance going down per turn would be good. And then something like... Actually, not, none of those would really work, so maybe we do just want the one military card. So maybe an oligarchy would be the way to go, because then we get one of each. We don't currently have any wild cards, though, do we? Or do we? Oh, we do. I think. Yeah, those are the wild cards. So maybe we do. Maybe we do just go for oligarchy. Okay, we'll do that. We'll go for it. So we have the diplomatic policies. We'll do this. And then for the wild card, which can be anything, we'll go for... I don't really want any of those, actually. Uh, plus one production in all cities. Here we go. Confirm. So that will help with production across the board, which is exactly what we want. I see you're a like-minded individual and must commend your government practices. Thank you. It's good to know you're not a complete butt. It's, uh, it's very useful to know that. Very, very useful indeed. Let's get this, uh, encampment built then. Let's see, what do you want? Open borders and incense, as well as open bo Um, six gold for 30 turns. I will accept that deal. 
I'm not entirely keen on the open borders, but I'm keen on the money. The money's where it's at. I will take the money. My progress toward military training has advanced considerably. Thank you. Let's choose a new production then. We could get a barracks, which is 25% combat experience for all melee and ranged land units trained in this city. That would be useful basically forever. It also adds production, housing, citizen slot, and great uh, general points. The market can also get me more gold. I'm very tempted to buy it. Because I have a lot of money. I'll buy the barracks. And then we'll change the production. Let's have the production be a... I'm going to say a builder, possibly. So we can continue upgrading Philadelphia. Uh, let's do a market. Let's get the market because Philadelphia has almost got the monument done. So Philadelphia is almost at a point that we can start building our own. They could start building their own builder. Uh, you still need to do some exploration down this way. So head over there and see what's up. Because I'm very curious. I want this entire area to be visible so I can see my entire continent. That's the goal here, buddy. So if you can just keep that up, that would be excellent. Now this trade route needs updated. Let's have ourselves a little look. So Philadelphia will get me a bit of money, a bit of production, a bit of food. That'll get me plus nine, though. Plus nine gold is not bad. That'll be plus 16. Alternatively, I could do plus 15 with uh, plus one to science and plus two to faith. So, no, let's stick with the, let's stick with the safe one for the time being. Let's keep the plus 16 going. Just because I know it's safe. Oh, there's, uh, Jelonis, or whatever it's called. Can I send you a delegation? You will not accept, you will really, you really don't want any of my delegations, do you? It's kind of annoying. Now, 15 turns for a builder here. 19 for a water mill. That helps with production. We do have the, the rice down here, though, which is nice. Let's get a... Let's get a builder going in Philadelphia. It's going to take a while, but that's fine. I'm not too worried about it. I'm, actually, you know what? I'm so tempted to buy it. I'm so tempted to buy it. I just can't currently for whatever reason, which is fine. Let's not worry about it too much. Three turns until the market is done in Washington. I might... Oh, do I want a settler? I can't tell. I just... Part of me really does. Part of me really doesn't. Because, like I said, I kind of want to wait until Philadelphia is on its own feet. But at the same time, I kind of really want this north coast. The problem is there's still barbarians all over it. There's a barbarian camp there. We're in the medieval era. I'd imagine the whole world Interesting. We also got machinery, which is also interesting. So, off of machinery, we eventually get printing. Or do we have currently have printing as an option? Hold on a minute. Do we have printing as an option currently? Research. We did 49 turns. Yeesh. Build two universities to boost that. Let's see what we want in the time being then. I guess we are sort of... We are back here a little bit. Uh, let's, I guess, look into astrology. We'll get all these things that we haven't had for a while. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll get all this stuff that we haven't had for a bit. And we'll see what's up. We'll see if we can perhaps, you know, oh, hello. Who is this? What are you doing? What are you sending warriors up to the north coast for? What? What is this supposed to be, Scythia? Huh? Let's see what you're trying. I can see what you're trying. It's not going to work. It's not going to happen. Uh, let's go ahead and get a builder. Because it's going to take Philadelphia another 11 turns. So I'll get a builder. I'll do some improvements of my own to Philadelphia. And uh, then the builder that comes of it can also do some improvements later down the line. So if we get that builder, we can uh, we can do that. Let's see. Where's my scout? My scout's over here. I want all of this space here to be visible. 
I want to see if that's like if all of this is part of the continent. I want to make sure. Uh, now, as for you, you could, in theory, go out and attack them. What? That would cost one movement point. Uh, attack those guys. And attack from the chariot as well. There we go. Maybe it's worth sending these guys down to deal with the barbarian encampment. 